Mtawazi Sidube of Fa Post has revealed who was there and who wasn't there as the team jetted off to Turkey. And we're also going to talk about why Kamele Mashat left KZ Chiefs and why Kevin Johnson thinks there was sabotage. Not in what you think. Hello and welcome to Coast Nation Fan TV. I am Pilo. I am your host, and this this is where fans meet and talk about KZ Chiefs. Um, see football club. So you remember a few weeks ago when I made a video and I said, "Hey, isn't it surprising that KZ Chiefs have not announced that Calvin Johnson is not even a coach anymore?" I was like, "Does this not look like it's strange to you?" And some of you are like, "Yeah, it does look strange." Well, it seems like it was sort of Kaiser Chiefs' plan to keep Kevin Johnson because apparently when he was told that he was leaving the team, he was shocked. And he thinks that according to him, it's because the new technical team does not want him anywhere near the squad. I mean, I second that. If there was the thought of Nazareth Dinabi and Fernando da Cruz to say, hey, we don't want this man anywhere near our team. I agree with that. This, by the way, is according to kickoff, so pinch of salt. But then again, do you think that this would have been surprising to Johnson, given how much time they gave him? Because to me, I think the moment he lost that game to Cape Town Spurs, right, I did not want Chiefs to qualify for MTN8 because then they were not going to make the right decisions. But I'm thinking that by firing Johnson, what they would have done is earlier on is just show him that we don't want you here because you failed but they kept him and just dragged this process along for no apparent reason number two Kamalo Matlatsi says that he left Kaiser Chiefs because of injuries there's no news there says he went to the club told them that I need to leave and then they let him go which I, I comment because most players come to Chiefs even if they don't play they want to stay this one said nope I want to leave and they allowed him to leave Good on him. Now, the next thing that we are talking about is the five things that Umtoz Sidube of Far Post saw when he went to uh, see Kaiser the Chiefs jetting off to take here. The first one is that Itumelen Kun is not there and he was not there, he did not travel with the team. And you know what's interesting also is that even it is Times did report, uh, was it Disky Times? No. It was them, Kashashi Fapos, who reported that Chiefs have not offered Itumelen Kune a playing role. You get me? Not to Guti, they have not offered him nothing, Jack Squad, no. They've offered him a role in the club, but not a playing one. We've talked about this a lot, so we're just going to move right along. Number two is that Ubonga Nisem, the new signing from Orlando Pirates, was with the squad so there you have it first official signing traveling with case chiefs is bongani sam we talked about him i said my opinions you guys said your opinions we move on to the third one because this one is not a big deal i will, I will actually end with that one because it's a bit longer Youth players that were involved, Pusna Temba Makong of Itiski Times reported that specifically Tati from MTC who's a midfielder has been training with the senior team and is not just been training with them in SA. Now Mtogo Zizitube is reporting that hey, the guy was actually with the team that traveled to take here, which means Kaiser Chiefs might not be looking to sign a midfielder. I know some people will not be happy about that. The reason why I'm saying and thinking that Utati might be added there because they actually want to include him in the senior squad is because I think of all the money that they've spent, the money they could still spend on the left back because now we have a situation whereby Fawaz Pasatin is not for sale, depending on how much she pays, I guess. Because the same thing happened last year with Mendy. I remember he was not for sale, but that just meant Chiefs, you can't afford him. Then Sundowns came and they paid that money that still and Bush wanted. So I don't think he's not for sale. So it's up to Chiefs. If they really up their, their proposal, then Upa Satin will all of a sudden be for sale. So with that situation in hand, then that's why I still specifically are tipping a player that they would be wanting to promote to the senior team. Number four is that with the technical team, the Cruz is there. Uh, Elias Muzoki, which is the who is the goalkeeper coach, traveling, and then Uma Di Safi, who's the conditioning coach as well, who arrived in SA, has now traveled with the team to take here. And the people who are going to join the team in take here is Nazareth Dinabi, the second assistant coach, and uh, the performance analyst. So the squad will all be there and just doing the things as the whole technical team now. 
I'm ending with this thing because it's it has layers into this because this is the fifth thing that he noticed uh, that he saw and I'm looking at it and I'm like there must be more to it than this. Okay, so starting with Umatlo, Umatlo did not travel, he's injured. We know this. Botsane did not travel, he's not injured. Okay, we know this. And then uh, who's this guy? Utilen Solomons did not travel, injured. So this guy has been has had a shoulder injury since way back then. You remember when he got injured the other time and then Ben of Frost they put had shoulder injuries. But then he came back and he got injured in some of the recent games. And now he's picked up an injury, less he's serious to a point that he can't travel with the team. That makes me say something is fishy here. Are they planning to release him perhaps? I do not know. Because the other player who I'm also looking at and thinking, this is this is suspicious, is Umtutu Zimtansan. Because Umtansan and I signed by Keza Chiefs last year, January. It seemed like they were not sure whether they wanted to sign him. They ended up signing him in June. And then he came. And all of a sudden he's injured. Because you have all this thing of injuries. They get away with these things so many times. Like Usia Temba Sebe, it was clear that the men after the sundowns game we knew that it was fine but then he just got injured and disappeared for six nine months and came back towards the end of the season and he thought he was part of the team's plans and all of a sudden he gets released he was surprised there's an interview of him with the disky times where he says he was surprised by being released but then he accepts and appreciates what chiefs did for him so i feel like now lama injury la that they keep on claiming that this player is injured or that player is injured I'm having a difficult time believing Wuti Um Tanzane is injured. Like they've been back for one week. I know what you don't need to be training for 90 days for you to get injured. But it's suspicious. And what's more suspicious is this fifth player, which is he's not suspicious because of whether he's injured or not, but they say he is injured. And that is actually Dupree. Because we know that Utupri EFC eh? FSCP, the team that Tusia Bongezana plays for wants to sign Ashley Dupree. We know that teams in Portugal want to sign Ashley Dupree and all of a sudden he's not traveling with the team because he is injured. Smelling fishy. Do you think there could be something that is happening there? Because I do think that there is something that is happening there. And we have talked about will Dupree be departing. And also, if there is something happening with Tanzani, we see about that being promoted to the senior team, kind of coming in to fill those positions. Do you think there could be some movement with Tanzani, Solomons, and Dupree? And if there is, do you think Chiefs would be making a mistake by releasing those players or selling Dupree? Do let me know down in the comment section below and if you've watched to this point why have you not watched or liked the video do like the video do subscribe to the channel and check out this video that i made on my other channel where i talk about our tactics killing modern football and this video where i talk about something that youtube thinks you like thank you so much for watching and until next time remember equals alpelumoy